do we find all of our great free camping spots like this? And like this? Or like this? All right, so I am going to talk about the top ways that I find all of these great camping spots that are free. All right, so first is apps. What did we do before we had apps? It makes it so much simpler. First of all, I have a series of apps that I go through and we have a route that we want to see some things or we have a planned kind of area that we want to be in because of weather or climate or, you know, like I said, stuff to see. And we look in that area by using apps. And the first, I'm gonna go through the apps that I use, order of importance. First ones that I use is freecamping.net. And then I will go down from there. I have free roam, iOverlander. If I don't find anything beyond that in those areas that I wanna be in, I will go into, into other apps like boondocking, free roam, the Dirt, Camp Pendium, All Stays, Trucker Path. There's there's lots of different apps, but uh, and then I also have one pay one USFS BLM app, and uh, it was only ninety nine cents. And occasionally I find something on there that's not on the other ones, but like I said, order importance if I don't find anything. And what I'll do is I'll go inside of the app and then I will read about it and I will co copy and paste the, um, the, court, the GPS coordinates into Google Maps. I will zoom in on it and look to see what it looks like, to see what the possibilities are, to see if I can tell what the road looks like and uh, see how many spots there are. And I can mark it and save it and then I will get several different choices in the areas that we want to go to. So in case the first one doesn't work out, you have other choices. And I almost always need other choices because sometimes I've gotten to a spot and it's just like pure sand or, you know, I don't even know why it's marked. That kind of thing. Those are the, the main ways that I find free camping spots. After using apps, if I don't find something that I need in the areas that I want, I would say 25% of the time, the spots that I find are by just driving around. Uh, I drive slow, I look around uh, outside of conservation areas or in conservation areas, wildlife areas, usually around that, uh, national forests, um, when it's a national park, there's usually camp free camping right outside of the park. Uh, so just by driving around, I find, I would say 25% of my spots and they, I did not see them marked anywhere. And I just kind of look around and, uh, when you don't see uh, no camping signs and, uh, areas that aren't blocked off. And when you see a fire ring, then, you know, generally you're, you're fine. And, uh, but I also can go to all of the state's websites, the conservation website, and look at more information there to see if they do have sites that are marked for camping. And the time and length and all that kind of stuff will be marked in different, most of them are 14 days, some are only 10. You know, it, it just differs and uh, just don't push your luck, you know, just don't stay too long. Um, I've stayed at spots that I wasn't really sure if you could camp at that weren't marked, but didn't say you could. I'd stay there for just a short time and then move on or then, you know, leave temporarily and then come back or park differently or something like that just not to draw attention if you're not sure if it's a spot. But I have actually never had an issue. I've never been told to move. I've never had a dreaded knock in the night. And uh, I just kind of try to stay under the radar more. There's also city parks and county parks that you can look for. Uh, this list doesn't include like truck stops, Walmarts, you know, Cracker Barrels, that general kind of parking lot kind of stuff. All right, like I said about going to states' websites, the government websites, looking at uh, information in their conservation areas or wildlife management areas to see if there's uh, possibilities to camp in there. Um, maybe other, like the one app that I said was 99 cents. Um, there's other uh, maps where you can put the BLM 
land uh, filter over the top so you can see that you're on Bureau of Land Management land and not public land or I mean, private land or something like that in the area that you're not sure. Um, there's so there's those ways of finding a, a free camp spot. And like I said, I will mark the places on my Google Maps and I have multiple uh, choices that I can drive by and look to make sure, see if it's anything. You can also sometimes if it's a larger road, you can see the street view and see what it looks like in that area. My map, uh, it started to get pretty full of different little marks, so I started to color coordinate uh, where I have stuff. I mark water sometimes, places that I want to go. So when I'm driving, I can just hit that location instead of researching it, if it's a grocery store or a water station. Last way to find uh, other free camping spot is, is word of mouth, talking to other people, asking them, uh, writing down the coordinates, looking at it again, zooming in, seeing if it's possibilities of places to pull off, um, looking, reading the laws in preserves or um, other wildlife areas. You know, you have to be so many feet away from the road, so many feet from water sources, um, you know, know those kind of laws so you don't ever get in trouble and be asked to move. Um, you could talk to a ranger, go into the stations, ask them where would be a good free spot to camp, but those are kind of like last resorts. I rarely use that one. Um, if I don't find a free spot, I will just move to my next one and look at my next one. I've never not found anything, obviously. We sleep somewhere every night, and I am in a camping spot before dark every night because I'm an early person and I don't like to drive when it's dark. All right, so just to recap it, number one is using all those apps, going through several of them, looking at an area. And uh, if you can't find something, maybe you're not supposed to be in that area, you know, just kind of move it over a little bit or what have you. But um, those apps, the Google Maps, zooming in, looking at the la exact location, seeing if there's possibilities, what it looks like, reading other people's comments on that campsite, uh, looking at the state kind of websites, conservation, government websites, and uh, word of mouth. And almost forgot, just driving around. Like I said, I, probably 25% of my spots is just driving around, not marked anywhere. And uh, those are usually a lot less busy too. <laughs> but uh, um, know the laws, know the rules. State lands are different, different states, different times, uh, distances of where you're supposed to camp. Um, just don't push it. And I lay low and uh, we find plenty of free camping, uh, lots and lots of choices, and uh, some just absolutely spectacular views that are just unreal and uh, well worth the time to, uh, to scout these out. All right, thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already.